Hey everybody, got the mill back together. We got our new Z axis up there. And the ball screws tucked back behind there. We got some heavy 8 mil trash bag on there for weight covers for right now. We have to figure out something for that. And then, uh, yeah, it works pretty good. The, uh, the G251s are down there. They, uh, much more capable than the old, uh, the hobby CNC chopper driver. So, oh yeah, we got the C23 breakout board made by CNC 4PC with the uh, analog output hooked up to the replacement treadmill motor controller. So that's the uh, sole purpose, the uh, well, the sole method of uh, controlling the uh, spindle. We can uh, go over here. We'll just type in what we want, thousand, and uh, turn it on. There it is running, and uh, we got the tack sensor hooked up too. I haven't calibrated it yet, but we're at about 870 RPMs when we command a thousand. Um, so I got to even it out a little bit better. Map it. Tax sensor is just mounted up there for now on the little in the little wheel with a, with a hole in it there you can see it there. So that just spins and it just picks that up. I'm gonna probably put that inside the spindle when I change the bearings pretty soon. I'm gonna take out the gears in there and stuff. So I'm getting ready for uh, some flood coolant too. We got uh, the manifold I built out of uh, three quarter inch PVC pipe and some lock line hoses, so be able to uh, put those however I want, just uh, for high pressure system, and uh, somewhere around here is the pump, and uh, this is what I'm going to be using for my tank, I picked this up at Walmart for like six bucks, it's, uh, it's a little smaller than I wanted, but uh, as you can see there's not really much room in there, and once I get that box, in here to house all the electronics plus the pump system you'll be able to see like that's about all you can really fit so I'll put some kind of pond filter in a box on top of that that'll drain into there uh, I'm gonna mount it hook it up with a um, water heater drain pan uh, connector into a ball valve in a union so I'll be able to pull it right out of there pretty easy and that'll go into the pump into the hose and out the lock lines. So there's the drain. Whole thing sloped that way. So yeah, just gonna do some little tests here. Got a half inch, two flute solid carbide end mill, brand new. And uh, we're gonna take some off the top of that block to, uh, to square it up with the bottom edge, so I can clamp it in the vise nice. So close the doors. I'm just going to manually jog this, but uh, we're going to go down uh, 25 thousandths. So we'll take 25 thousandths off in one pass and uh, line it up in there so that we can uh, take a full cut. So I'll crank it right up, 5100. Fire that thing up. There it goes. Treadmill control is a little slower. It takes a few seconds to spin up. And those are those terrible bearings. Those are getting replaced next week. So. But, uh. Let's, uh. We're gonna go with, uh. 25 inches a minute through that block. 25 thousandths deep. Here we go. There it is, full half inch cut, 25 thousandths deep. It doesn't seem to mind too much. Bring it over and bring it back. Yeah, One more. Take off that little lip. Should 
down. Let's open up that cabinet. Oh, there it is. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, it's not perfectly smooth, but it is flat. You can feel a small, like small edges in it from where the cutter was turning. Probably slow it down a little bit, get a little bit better cut on it. But yeah, it's uh, it didn't sound like it was having any trouble there. I'm gonna flip it over and do the top.